score big tonight on on the raid. I've I've just at my last two raids I've posted just over eight million and soloed phases one, two, and three and got into four. Um, yeah, so I thought I'd see if I could record it. So this is really a test just for for maybe taking a bit of time and just seeing how well it uploads and that. So if you watch, thank you for your patience. Uh, if you don't, <laughs> yeah, I fully understand. So, ground wall. I'm going to restart this. Um, with the Omega, I, I use my Ewoks, Ewoks even, and... Um, I'm going to start off with an old faithful. Uh, I covered in the Omegas that I just feel that Chirpa seems to lose out quite a lot um, against Tebow, Tebow, just basically through what he, yeah, Tebow brings uh, more options. I'm actually going to take Ch uh, Chirpa in as my lead. Um, and I've got a pretty extensive squad to call on um, so <clears throat> I tend to go old Dakar as, um, as as my fifth wheel because she uh, she brings in revives and she also brings in stuns as well so yeah I'm not going to mess with the formula that this this one uh, as the squads have got deeper and uh, the challenges have got a bit harder as you know as you go on Especially with the mods, I mean the mods on all of these aren't exactly great. Um, I don't use them so much, but I just yeah, I fancy a ground wall's probably about the only place where it's it's free, it's it's free, and um, you get to try out your tunes a bit, yeah. So uh, torn for choice here. Um, Ray hits like a steam truck. He, you know she's gonna hit me hard. But uh, Leia, Leia's going to make a, a disappearing thing. So, um, yeah, stealth, stealthy Leia, she's just going to be an annoyance. So I'm going to I'm gonna go for her first of all. So Tebow, of course, going stealth mode, gains 100% turn meter. And hopefully he's going to steal all of Leia's. So we're just going to get rid of Leia. There she goes. Now we're going to go for Ray. And if oh let's see if we can stun her. Let's see, she hits hard. So um Alright. Who's yeah, let's just uh knock his turn meter down. We'll get rid of her defence, seeing it coming. Don't need to heal anything, so We'll take another big chunk out of her. Actually, no, we'll get rid of her. Oh, we don't get rid of her. We do get rid of her. There she goes. Bye. Have a beautiful time. Um, I'm hoping that... Ch no, is Chirpa not going to get a chance to... Right, here we go. So, oh, Sid's only going to attack once. I was anticipating Sid actually going for all of us. And I would have just shown you <laughs> one of the nice things. I mean, I'm sure that we'll get it part or well, during this where uh, you'll see one of the ad one of the great abilities that Chirper brings is that anyone that does an AOE if you've got retaliation up which you get with the with the health um, they all go and, and yeah serve it to whoever it was that just dished out the AOE so there's victory And completing the first battle, 8,000 credits, one training droid, and an ability map. Um, yeah, it's not the greatest prize in the world. But as we progress, we'll see that that improves greatly quickly. So, on to battle two. Uh, let's get rid of Ahsoka. She's... Uh, Soka's kind of one of those almost tunes that she really can bring it, but um, invariably doesn't. 
saying that, I'm not really giving her the opportunity. So I'm just picking my way through. Uh, synergy of Ewoks is fantastic. I mean, one of the things is is that they may not hit as hard, but you, you, unless you're going against a very quick side, you you're gonna get so many goes before they even get there first. I mean, this is just that. Uh, this just seems cruel, if I, if if I'm honest. I'm just doing all the basics on here. One of the things that I was uh, read up or advised at some point early on is if you can save your save the healers on the other side because most of the healers don't hit. Hard. I mean, I've actually hit, I've saved the hit, hardest hitting healer that I know, which is uh, Lumi until last. But save your healers till last because they normally don't hit that hard. And what it does do is allow you just to reset all your additional abilities so that you, they're ready to go for the next one. As uh, ground war uh, gets harder as you go along, so battle two. And yeah, there you go. So we've doubled up here. We've got a two star training do droid. Oh, us, whole one. Yay. Uh, same again on the ability mat. We've got 100 shards over here, you can see. Uh, we'll use them later on. We'll redeem some. And the money's double to 16,000. On to battle three. Oh, we've got a Chewy. And you see Chewy who's, uh, Chewy carries health and protection. So uh, this will be a prime candidate for uh, for Chirpers. Uh, Utini, let's go. Beat up the Wookiee. Yeah, that's, that's, none of them are anywhere near bringing up. So I'm going to use Chirpa's third ability and just launch another attack onto the Wookiee. Let's just see if we can get him out of the way. You know what, let's go stealth because that will give him the 100%. Uh, everyone else goes before him and now he goes and steals his TM. And I really went too quickly with my chirper there, didn't I? Because what I wanted to do is I wanted to pick up, put on him the retaliation. So T Tebow's slightly broken at the moment. Um, I stealthed him. I don't recall him going again. And yet. So here we go, there's a retaliation there. I mean, I've stunned the only AoE here. But there you go. They're going to regret hitting Chirper, aren't they? Because out of all the Ewoks on the base here, I think... Oh, I think he hits the hardest. So we're just... Uh, I know I'm getting in against my advice here, but I've I've already clocked that I've got another group attack that I can employ. So Scout is a, a turn meter reducer, and he's quite effective. I've seen a lot of people use him in raids. Um, yeah, so so one of the options uh, for the for the raids, of course, is uh, especially against like the the captain and his henchmen um, is to run a, a Tebow lead along with Scout and Ewok Elder. So Ewok Elder is probably the most versatile healer. Um, so he he gives TM on his basic. He heals and debuffs on, on his heal. So he, he removes all debuffs on your team. And he can revive, so um, yeah, yeah, he's kind of like a a Swiss Army uh, Swiss Army tomb. Oh, so, I mean, the early days. I'm just whizzing through these now because uh, there's not really much in the way of an opposition at the moment um, that comes in on uh, the sixth battle. 
and chances are I'll have to change my loadout for that and go for something a bit heavier hitting just to smooth the ride and not take, make it take too long so um, we're gonna go and do a lot of damage to Mr. Liam Neeson here I'm just taking out, oh we're gonna stealth and rob him of his turn meter I'm just taking out the multiple attackers trying to keep as much protection on these little Ewoks so that if uh, chances are what I'll do is when I get to the sixth battle that's where it it changes um, and starts to get well, quite a bit more it gets more difficult I mean, again I've got the luxury of uh, quite a large squad to call on um, if need be I'll send in like a, a suicide squad just just to take down opposition if they're going to do too much damage to kind of like a a main team that I would employ utilize use there you go you get a thesaurus at the same time Yay. okay so battle four was that or battle five I'm not keeping count so that was uh, yeah battle four so Battle four, so uh, again another hundred um, shards, whatever you can use in in to redeem against characters and so on. Money's going up quite a bit now, as you can see. We're up to thirty four k. Still only uh, training droid in singular variety and ability mats, but as I say, that's going to start to change. Okay, so we've got a little bit more bite here so we've got uh, Mr. Dooku making an appearance that's one one tune that really is dropping down the ranks same as Ray. Ray was kind of like you were getting them in, you know sort of like six seven out of ten arena squads if not higher um, that really has dropped away so I'm I'm going to be a bit of a pussy. I'm not going to go straight at him. What I'm going to do is I'm going to wait until Chirpa is ready to go. Um, you're right, Chirpa's ready to go. So let's see. So one of the things you might I might hit lucky with is that old Daka when she goes uh, could stun him and prevent him from retaliating, and then then we should just be an easy kill. So here we go. Yeah, no stun. But um, see now we're stealthed. As I have actually omegaed um, that option on Tebow. Um, do we need? Yeah, we might get a, we might get an OOE attack out. I'll I'll leave Sid alone. Um, he's going to be full of health because he gets health through the misfortune of his <laughs> his teammates' demise. Um, so yeah, we we might get an AOE. Uh, are we going to run out of? Yeah. So we're not. We will get an AOE. I just uh, the. That's only. Okay. I don't know. Well, he obviously only hit one of them. So Tebow has uh, lost all his protection, which is just in time for the uh, hardest battle that I'm actually going to have. In the first six out of twelve for ground war, not ground war. Sorry, that's me and my god. <laughs> Call of Duty. Um, ground war is is an option there. We're we're doing a galactic war because this is Star Wars, and um, the clue should be in the fact that all the characters are from Star Wars. There we go. Yeah. Wow. See, Lumi does does bring quite a bit really as as a healer I was late to the party with Bloomy I, I must have been, I um I got Barris quite early on and when I first started playing um and of course moving up the ranks oh look at that there you go so uh let's just have a look at this and see what we're up against here so uh yeah quick maths there it looks like we've got about forty-two thousand in total between health and protection 
he's clocking in at 185 speed so he's going to go quite often potency well Kai, Kai Gon's, uh potency is is on the high side anyway I mean as you can see there it's raised by 24 percent which means that's just without any mods he's at 60 percent touch with uh, potency and yeah he's gonna hit hard yay not as hard as she will though and I'm expecting her to be even quicker there you go so she's got a speed of 204 at 40 so um Okay, I'll, I'll I'll give you a quick uh, quick look at why I really wouldn't advise running the Ewok team that I'm running at the moment against this lot. Hopefully, they won't all die before uh, I get a chance to uh, quit and just show you that option. We'll bring it up. I'm um yeah, I'm probably going to get hit. Oh no, I'm not going to get hit first. So at least there is that. Um, all right, well, let's give it a go. So what we want to do is we want to keep Ray as subdued as possible. We also want to keep Genosian Soldier because he he really does have a naughty turn meter option on him. I'm going to pump up on my Retribution, I believe it's called. Okay, so as you can see, turn meters are filling up rather quickly now. And there's one person that can't retaliate anymore I don't need to uh, use any health at the moment so let's just give him a, as you can see so now if I hit him one more time I'm gonna pop the taunt um, Robbie the robot over in the corner is about to have a go and I've got a scout that should remove some of his turn meter and he didn't yay that's what you want or you don't want Okay, and I'm just I'm just dancing around at the moment, waiting for the right moment to actually put a decent assault onto uh, onto the Genosian soldier. So I'm just going to bring Ray back, but I'm pretty sure that Qui Gon's going to. Oh, he didn't bring in. Right. Let's see if we can stun Ray. No, we can't. Of course we can't. Right. I think now's the time that we uh, pop that taunt. So I'm going to have the retribution come up soon. I'm not too worried about losing characters because, as I say, I do have uh, an Ewok Elder who revives. So this pops... RG's taunt that should oh, didn't knock it down damn I'm gonna lose two and you see that's what I was afraid of so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the retreat option if you've never used it I advise you acquaint yourself with it because in in galactic war it really can help save your tunes so as I say that's why I wouldn't wouldn't use the Ewoks against uh, this particular team so what we're going to do is get rid of them have kind of like an A team um, my A team is a Lando lead he he boosts a bit of speed um, through advice from my some guild mates they advised I was running it with um, with Kaigon um, but I've switched over from Kaigon. Kaigon debuffs, but he his debuff is like three a three turn turnaround. So I switched in Sunfac because uh, his basic actually debuffs. So if um, if there's an AOE or anything, and RG's got his taunt up, it just means that if uh, Sunfac retaliates and he's got an option on there, that's one of his abilities that he can counter. It just gets rid of uh, it gets rid of that taunt nice and quick. I've got a quite a quick stormtrooper Han. I'm going to bring in my emperor, and the final piece of my puzzle is Rex. Why wouldn't you? Yeah. So here we go. Let's see whether this makes any difference. So the last time round, of course, all the all the mods on here are. Uh, 
are tweaked quite considerably as well. So uh, again, I mean, Ray hits like a steam truck, so I just don't really want her here very often or for as much at all. Um, I'll give them a quandary. So they've got a Kygon who can dispel a taunt. So if I put a second taunt up and then place it on Ray, and then I'm also going to put up some tenacity. And finally, I'm going to go straight in just because uh, I didn't see how many yellows I got. If you get more than two criticals, when he goes again, it's 100% harder. And you know what? That's what you want. So I'm going to give a fence up as well. And now I'm just going to open up a can on Ray and not actually do that much damage. But there you go, see? So there is some fact working and getting rid of advantages that these tunes have. Um, you know, what, I'm just going to keep on at Ray just because you know, she's annoying. Um, and, well, she's not just annoying. She she just, I think she is the hardest hitting out of IRC. Oh, I did only get one crit hit with my Lando, which means I'm going to have to wait a while before that uh, that comes up again. So now, Sunfact gets rid of that uh, because Palpatine has also put his shock on there and removed RG's ability. Now, Hound takes away her evasion up and we get rid of her. So, uh, Genosian Soldier, you know, he's... He's not a tune that I use that much, but I I do. He gets my respect because, um, yeah, he's naughty. He is naughty. He's turn meter ter swings round so fast. Here we go. So here's Lando's. He's still not really putting it out there at the moment, is he? Let's go another tenacity up and uh, get rid of Genosian. So Rex, Rex is. Oh, you see, I missed out there. I was too quick. Rex's uh, first ability. Let's just put the taunt up again. I'm going to regret that later on because this team is going to come back later on uh, and make an appearance when uh, it starts getting a lot more hectic. So uh, I might run them again just to reset everything. Because uh, this battle's over. There we go. So there's battle six done. As I say, battle six is all, always seems to throw up a a much harder squad that you have to knock down. And then you get two hundred whatever's green things. Forty-seven thousand five crystals there. Uh, a three-star training droid and another ability map. So as you can see, so after battle five, it drops down a bit. I mean, their levels are increasing, but um, but they're dropping down. Um, although what they will have is better mods, as you can see here. I mean, he's whoa, really? He's all fifteens, and they're all. So what have we got? He's not very quick. Uh, he's got a shed load of. Oh, sorry, my bad. She has got a shed load of uh, protection. She's not got much in the way of tenacity, but uh, she's she's kind of here to bring in the others. Yeah, she is. Sorry, I'm just looking there. I've got two Jedi's. One of, one of my favourite tunes, uh, although he really is a glass cannon, is Darth Maul. And if I was facing a predominantly or all, all Jedi team, then I would bring him up to the plate so I'm gonna go with these again just because I think that I'm gonna take them out relatively easily famous last words but what I want to do is I just want to see and make sure that all the cooldowns are, are, are taken care of so that when I do come back round they're ready to go so again I'm gonna just do a bit of heal pop up a fence up and Launch Lando's Ujimi flip. Uh, I will pop up the taunt. And she's gone. Um, now it should be relatively straightforward because there are no taunters on their side. 
I don't mind if Lumi heals actually as uh, it just gives me more to shoot at so I'm going to save Lando's AoE and now I'm just going to try and take this lot out just on basics I'm just focusing get rid of, get rid of Captain Phasma she did, I don't think she did. I didn't really get anyone. I uh, should have uh, just healed there. That's, that's going to make old Palpatine a little bit vulnerable to an attack. But as you saw, <coughs> I've reset now most of, most of their abilities. And 52,002 training droids. Thank you very much. Okay, what we got here? Uh, so we got an Akbar lead. So Akbar speeds everyone up, and I'm guessing that that these two are going to be clocking quite a, a, a quick speed. No, she's not. 162. See, the battle after this is going to be horrendous in comparison to this one. Um, do I? Yeah, you know what? I I think I will just try and see if I can get Palpatine to finish on as high a health as possible. So um, I'm again I'm going to focus on Leia because she stealths, and I don't want her to. So I'm gonna. Fully recharge. You know what I am because I've got a fence up and I've used it once, so that should yeah give me pretty good hit. Oh, I'm gonna have to use his taunt, which means that's not gonna be ready unless I can. Uh... Yeah. Sorry, I'm waffling here as I try and multitask. Oh dear, look at that. Oh, I'm going to have to hit them again. Clear them out. So they're all gone. Victory. So that was Battle 8. As you can see, we're moving nicely across the table here. Battle 8 gives us 200. Uh, better training droids, 57.8 thousand credits. And here we go. So now we're moving into more of the uh, the tougher ones. So we've got here. Why would you have some factors lead with no leader ability? Okay, whatever. Wow, fifty four thousand protection. That's a lot of protection, and one hundred and nine speed. So they're just really banking on him. Um, him return firing constantly. Um, Kaigon is not very fast either. That's, um, I'm surprised at this one. I would have expected more. Uh, of course, at the moment, my Stormtrooper Han is, is a bit vulnerable here. Um, so what I'm thinking is... I'm going to take him out and I'm going to replace him with a Wookiee. I'm keeping back my RG just because the RG has the, the great uh, functionality of uh, auto taunt whenever one of your players goes below a certain level. So he kind of pulls off the attacks. Okay, so we'll go with some tenacity up straight away. And... Um, See, some fat's going to taunt at some point, but he's slow as, as well, he's just slow. So I'm going to try putting it onto uh, Royal Guard. I'm going to pop my taunt up on Royal Guard. And uh, let's take some, uh, let's take some turn meter off of Kaigon. Of course, they've got a Tiba. I forgot they've got a Tiba. So I'm going to try again. Right, now, Royal Guard can't taunt. So I know some fact can taunt, 
but what this does allow me now is to focus on their attackers without the distraction that um, Royal Guard brings. And yeah, I just realized, sorry, I've turned the game noise off. Okay, so there goes Kaigon. So uh, I'm just gonna, no, well, I'm not apparently. Okay, so we're gonna pop up the tenacity again. That should help counter um, Royal Guard stun, and I'm going to bring a fence up again uh, because Mr. Lando Carizian is uh, unfortunately not in the position to launch his AOE. We need two more goes for that. Wow, look at that! Stun them a lot of them. So we're just going to try and take as much of sun fact down as possible. I really should have just uh, gone for his third one there. So that's all I'm really doing now is just taking advantage of a stunned sun fact. What I do need to do is switch over and just negate Royal Guard's taunt, which I've done again. There you go. So here's Lando's Well, that didn't really go so well, did it? Let's get rid of that. Um, I'm still focusing Sunfac. Well, as I'm running one myself, you kind of get the idea. Is is just so annoying. Now, can we please one? Wow. So let's just see whether we can stop Tebow from. No, we can't. Put the torn up on the Wookiee as well. Give everyone a fence up. That should get rid of two of them. And now we've just got fives who really is going to just prove... to be uh, stubborn in leaving the party but yeah didn't really have an option five against one there so that's battle nine um, yeah in actual fact I really messed this up because we're going to start to get to the uh, the hard ones now what I was saying that I've, I've kind of broken ground war a bit recently and my last two battles have been green, so uh, fingers crossed that that carries on. Um, okay, we've got a lot of droids here. Um, this is probably going to be a bit messy. What I am going to do? Oh right, what we've not got, and I'm surprised that is we don't have a Jawa engineer to turbo them. So what I'm actually going to do here is change my squad around a little bit, uh, including Lando. And I'm going to go with someone that brings a bit more speed to the party, uh, in namely Akbar. And I'm going to go with my wigs, because, as I said earlier, uh, I've been working on them. I think I'm still going to keep a Rex in there. Just to, oh, actually, Am I going to keep a Rex in there? No, I'm not. I'm going to go quite aggressive here and not go with a debuffer so let's see how we go on here yeah, I've forgotten already what I'm facing I don't think there is actually a taunter here no there's not so um, he adds to uh, he's good with droids I believe I, I must admit he's not a tune that I've made uh, viable in any way shape or form but we've got wigs and wigs Destroy. Lando should still be hitting hardish. Um, now we'll bring up. You know what? I don't want to hit him. 
I'm not going to use Royal Guard's ability because what I want to do is use Wigs and now. So, yeah. Akbar, great debuffer, as long as he's not ability blocked. Um, Vader's quite a way off before he goes again. Um, HK's going to hit me with an AoE. And so to cut down some of that, I'm just going to debuff everything um, and take out their healer. There you go. It didn't disappoint. Of course, what HK does is he revives once you uh, once you kill him. He revives, but not with too much. I'm not even going to waste. All right. So now, what we're going to get is uh, a Wigs one two with somebody else adding in the third, and this should be game over. I think. There you go. Wow! Did you see that? That was that was, and the, and they're not even a crit damage, crit chance mod modded. So that was about all ten. So about all ten, uh, two hundred shards, sixty-seven thousand, a three dot training droid, a Mark three ability mat, and the square ability mat. And there you go. So as I said, I've kind of broken ground war. Ground war. No, that's sorry. I do enjoy my Call of Duty. I've broken Galactic War a little bit. So the uh, the last two battles are, are relatively, uh, well, no, relatively, they are very straightforward. So we just go into battle and then what we do is we just hit auto because there's uh, no strategy required. Uh, two hits and they're down. There's uh, the rewards for battle 11, 70k. So we're getting three training droids, and they're you know they're higher up stars. We'll get another Mark III ability mat and another square, and then the final one, uh, yeah, as I say, is broken. I'm guessing that you weren't surprised to see that that was the last battle after you saw what battle 11 was, and again hit auto, and um, yeah, down they go. And that. Is Galactic War over and done with for a Sunday? Um, I said somewhere else, Monday night, I don't actually do my Galactic War. So so what I do on Monday is when I get the option to reset, so after the, the clock's turned for today, um, all I do is I reset the battle, um, I s choose my lineup, my, my squad, I go into the first battle and then I quit like I did earlier on in this video just by clicking or touching on the cog at the top and quitting the battle. Um, that affords me the daily challenge of a embarking on a galactic war without actually doing any fighting whatsoever. Um, yeah, yeah, screen locked. Right. Um, so what that means is that come... Um, the reset on a Tuesday by starting and quitting my Monday Galactic War, it means that I'll be able to re well continue that battle after the guild reset um, and then complete the 12 nodes of Monday's battle on Tuesday because you can actually save it for up to 48 hours, I believe. Um, do that battle that gives me the 12 nodes and, and puts 12 nodes straight into my guild challenge then i can actually do tuesdays which gives me another 12 so that gives me the 24 and then of course once the the clock's changed on tuesday night it gives you the third galactic war uh, which gives you another 12 which allows you to actually post or record 36 galactic war nodes um for your guild yeah so if you're in a guild where you, maybe you've got a, a, a you know a, a, a deep squad that can as as i've just done go through all of the the 12 nodes and maybe some of your other guild members possibly don't 
um, it just balances it all up, and it, it, it increases the the number of guild coins everyone gets because the higher up the the ratings you get, the more rewards you get on your guild coins. Um, yeah, and it just uh, all contributes towards your uh, your your raid tokens. So here we go, the last one. What we're we getting here? So we're getting. 400 shards we get a lot more here um oh actually I, I haven't completed this guy yet as you can see i've got 131 out of 30 for general viz but we get quite a lot on rewards um what i also then do is i want to redeem some of these so basically uh, i think other than magma's done if you do the math there you'll see that he needs to get to 250 and he's nine over but he's maxed everyone else other than um, resistant pilots maxed as well, I did that for the the challenges. Tuscan Raiders maxed and Sentinels maxed. Poggle is finally maxed. Took a lot of uh, persuading me to actually do that. I I must have I missed the boat with Poggle. Poggle and maybe you'll come back again. Uh, Poggle was kind of what Je is to droids. Um, early days. Dacha's maxed. Uh, Biggs and Tebow are maxed, Cad and everything. The only one that isn't is Night Sister, who, uh, yeah, uh, again, she only needs 185 in total, so 85 to put her to level six, and then 100 for the seven, t seven stars. Uh, so she's maxed. I just haven't maxed her yet. Um, so I, I normally leave so like, between 12, 1200 to uh, to 800 on there. Um, come out of there and then just go into my shard shop and yeah oh uh, yeah yeah so 400 each 1200 so that gives me an additional 225 to convert and as you can see there I've got 5700 shards at the moment today I I got uh, Jaro Engineer is my next one I, I need 20 more shards to 7 star him and Vader is just yeah, 67 of 100. I'll get there one day. Hopefully, by the time I get there, he'll actually be, he'll actually stop hitting like he's uh, spraying both his wrists. Um, yeah, and and at the bottom there, you can see that you get uh, some various bits as well now towards the ray gear which they've uh, opened up. So that's it there. I'm gonna come out of there. That's my galactic war done for today. And um, yeah, with that, I'm going to finish this recording. Thank you very much for your patience if you watched. Um, that's me signing out. Take care. Bye-bye now.